Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What software testing type do you know? We are going to check ISTQB theory and talk in human language after. Let's begin. Let's start with the ISTQB explanation. Currently, ISTQB is the leading global certification scheme in the field of software testing. And when we will talk formally, we'll use their syllabus and the glossary as references. A link to the ISTQB website will be provided in the materials for the video. ISTQB defines four main test types. Functional testing, non-functional testing, white box testing, and change-related testing. So, these four are the primary main types according to the ISTQB. We are not going to provide definitions of those. In the scope of this question, all we need to do is to define some sort of schema that we will be able to assign any test type we will find. Let's get familiar with the ISTQB scheme first. The next two subtypes highlighted in the theory are confirmation testing and regression testing. Those are related to the change-related main test type. And we will have a separate discussion about each of them. And that's all. On this point, the clarity of the ISTQB theory ends. There is another sentence related to the non-functional testing. It sounds like this. Refer to ISO standard for classification of software product daily characteristics. And that's all. So we checked the standard and there are eight main product quality properties into eight characteristics. Let's name those. Functional suitability, performance efficiency, compatibility, usability, reliability, security, and maintainability, portability, as we said eight in total, and it doesn't end there. Each characteristic is composed of a set of related sub-characteristics. So there are like dozens of those, but we think it is enough to know that these eight are part of non-functional testing. So that's all. This is a complete schema according to ISTQB in our opinion. We can be wrong, let us know in the comments what you think. And we believe the schema doesn't answer all your questions. You could hear about other types of testing, like positive and negative testing manual and automation testing, smoke and sanity testing. And list can go on and go on. And about most of them, you won't find any information in ISTQB. So what about those types? It leads us to the human language. Let's check what the testers community says. And the testers community has dozens of theories about how many test types exist and even more theories about the test type classification. We can illustrate it on one popular site. The link to Guru99 website will provide in the description of the video. Guru99 just skips schema and provided a list of types of software testing, 100 examples. It is not a joke, there are more than 100 test types in the list. ISTQB provides 6 or 14 types, depends how you count. And testers can ask you about 100 more other test types. It means that ISTQB doesn't provide enough types. On the other hand, testers found too many types and problem is not only in the number of types. The classification of those is an even bigger problem. If you try to Google the phrase software testing types, you will find dozens of schemas. Some of those are based on ISTQB but with additions, other than just what people imagine. And nobody knows what is right and what is wrong. We don't say that ISTQB theory is perfect, but having 100 schemas is not a solution. You simply don't know what to answer in the interview. It is up to you how to deal with this. You just need to have enough arguments in the interview to defend your point of view. For now, there is no clear and understandable answer to the question, what software testing types do you know? We recommend sticking with the ISTQB schema. It is easier just to name those four types, functional, non-functional, white box, and change-related. 
we proposed a small addition to the schema. Just add one more main type here and name it other, and all the types will go there. 105 types of Guru 99, or even 100 more, which people will still find in the future. Yes, we know it is not perfect, but at least we will have some visualization schema, and it's easier to remember and understand the theory that way. But if you don't like our option, you can use any other schema you find in the internet, or even create your own schema. Looks like nobody has a proper answer to this question anyway. Let us know our schema the last time. You can stop the video and check it on your site. And that is our answer to the question, what software testing types do you know?